a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra and today we are talking about cloud computing ETFs. And this is an area which has seen so much growth in the past few years. And this trend accelerated during the pandemic last year. And uh, cloud computing market is now expected to top $300 billion globally. That is according to Gartner. And uh, this kind of growth may continue even after we return to normalcy, some sort of normalcy uh, after the wider rollout of vaccines because companies uh, prefer cloud-based service providers uh, for highly specialized computing services. Uh, uh, cloud computing is more secure. It is cheaper, safer than traditional system, and it also provides firms a lot of flexibility and agility in scaling up and down their uh, computing capacity according to their business needs. Uh, so, so that is why the growth may continue and you, the digital transformation that we have seen uh, in the past year, that may continue. And uh, we saw from the recent results of uh, tech giants, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google, that their cloud computing uh, business accounted for the surge in revenues. And we saw the rising power of cloud from their results. And in fact, Amazon, which is the biggest player in the cloud computing market, announced that it's cloud boss and D. Jesse will become the next CEO. And interestingly, Microsoft CEO, current CEO Satya Nadella used to head their cloud computing division earlier before he took over the role of CEO. Microsoft is the second biggest player in the cloud computing market, but their, uh, their cloud business is rising very fast. And in fact, during the uh, recent quarter, their Azure revenues surged 50%, more than 50%. Azure is actually the biggest source of revenue for Microsoft now. And uh, Google, which is uh, uh, right now a distant third player in the cloud computing market, is also spending a lot on that business to catch up with the other two giants. Uh, so while these three companies are the biggest players in the cloud market, but uh, they are not pure play cloud computing companies. The smaller cloud computing companies, pure play cloud companies, they are growing even faster. And that is why cloud computing ETFs have done very well in the past years. So let's take a look at four cloud computing ETFs by going to the code page on sax.com. So the first one is by First Wrist. It is the First Wrist Cloud Computing ETF, ticker symbol SKYY Sky. This is the first cloud computing ETF, and uh, pretty large now with 6.6 .6 billion, more than 6.6 .6 billion in assets. It holds infrastructure, platform, and software cloud companies. Uh, and uh, it has an expense ratio of 60 basis points. Now these ETFs are thematic ETFs, uh, so they would be more uh, expensive than uh, plain vanilla broad market ETFs. Now to learn more about this ETF, uh, you can read our research report, articles, and then you can go to the external web page, First Trust web page for this ETF. And you will see that uh, it has certain criteria, minimum, minimum market cap of 500 million, minimum free float, uh, modified equal weighting methodology, and then each security weight will be capped at 4.5% at the time of rebalancing. So the big players like Amazon and Microsoft and Google will not occupy a lot of weight in the portfolio. Now looking at the top holdings, those are still among the top holdings. And then there are companies like MicroStrategy, which is so much in news because of its Bitcoin holding. MongoDB, Kingsoft Cloud Holdings, these are other top holdings in the ETF. Now the second one is by GlobalX. Uh, 
this made its debut in 2019 and was the most one of the most successful uh, launches of that year. Uh, this uh, holds companies which benefit from increasing adoption of cloud computing. This follows a market cap weighting methodology, slightly more expensive, 68 basis points, and this has also gathered 1.6 billion in assets very fast. Now, to learn more about this ETF, you can again go to the code page on zax.com. I had done a podcast with GlobalX some time back. You can listen to that, and then you can go to the uh, GlobalX web page for this ETF. You can read the research, look at the sector breakdown, information technology, communication services. Uh, US is about 85% rest is international. Now, those uh, um, tech giants will be in the portfolio, but they are not among the top holdings. The top holdings are faster rising companies like Fastly, Zscaler, and a plan proof point, Twilio, Shopify, which has done so well of late. Now, the third one which I am highlighting is by Wisdom Tree. It is called the Wisdom Tree Cloud Computing Fund, ticker symbol WCLD. This holds smaller um, emerging cloud companies and follows an equal weighting scheme. This is the cheapest fund in the space with an expense ratio of 45 basis point. And this has also been very successful. It launched recently and has gathered 1.4 billion in assets. Again, to learn more about this ETF, you can go to the code page on zax.com and the external homepage, and you will see that the, the holdings are almost equally weighted. Uh, they will be rebalanced and equally weighted at the time of uh, rebalancing. Cloudflare, Sprout Social, Cl CrowdStrike, Domo, these are among the top holdings in the ETF. Now, the last one, the fourth one, the latest entrant in the space is by EDFMG. It was actually a drone technology ETF earlier and it changed uh, its focus in April last year, 7th of April, and became a cloud computing ETF, which is managed by Dan Ives of Wedbush. This follows a proprietary weighting methodology, and this also holds emerging global cloud companies. This has an expense ratio of 68 basis points and has 62 million in assets so far. Again, to learn more, you can go to the code page. I recently did a podcast with uh, Dan Ives, uh, so you can listen to that. And then you can also go to the external home page and learn more about the CTF. It basically holds companies from these uh, four areas, infrastructure storage, software as a service, cybersecurity, and then consumer and business cloud-based applications. And this focuses on emer emerging cloud companies, small and mid-cap cloud companies, as I mentioned. Kingsoft, Elastic, GDS, Nice, Open text, these are among the top holdings in the ETF. On the last uh, slide, I have the comparative performance versus the S&P 500. And as I mentioned that while tech giants have done very well, the smaller emerging cloud companies have done even better. So that is why WCLD, the fund by Wisdom Tree, is the best performer. It is up uh, about uh, 100 and 20% more than 100 and no, more than 130 uh, percent. So I have taken, sorry, I have taken the time period since Ives' inception, uh, April 8th. So since that period, Wisdom Tree Fund is the best performer, up more than 130 percent. Then uh, Ives is up more than 110 percent, and the other two. Uh, Sky, SKYY, and CLOU are also up more than 100%. Very good performance by all four. And uh, S&P 500 index is up just about 42% during this period. Thanks for watching. In full disclosure, I own 
WCLD and CLOU Cloud in the ETF investor portfolio that I manage. Make sure to subscribe to our videos so that you do not miss anything. And also make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. And I'll see you next week.